Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all super well today. In this video, we are going to announce the giveaway and we are going to talk about the luxury items I think are not worth purchasing. So if you're interested, please keep watching. As I have mentioned in my last video, part of the giveaway for you guys will be a couple items from the Factory 5 collection. One will be the shower gel and the other will be the body lotion. And I will also include the poster that I have showed you in my last video, as well as Chanel 5, the perfume sample. Also, I will include this paper bag that the items came with. All will depend on the delivery restriction in your country because it will be open worldwide. So I am not sure about every single country. I will let you know once I know the winner. It will be just a random number winner. For those of you who love organic products, I have prepared a second option of organic products that I use and I love, love, love. I have ordered them last week, they still haven't arrived, so they will be looking like this and I will show them to you because obviously I use them. This is a travel pack which is great for somebody who wants to start and change the skincare products. Uh, they are products from Tata Harper that I love very much and I use them personally. I have always this travel pack at home because I use them for traveling. They do last for months. Obviously, I will show you which one. So, first of all, it's the floral essence uh, that you just spray your face before you apply your moisturizer and the serum for evening. And before the serum, I always apply this face oil, which I love. So all these four products, they do last for a month. You really need just a little bit, like one pump, and it just covers the whole face, and it's more than sufficient. The pack also includes the mask. I love all masks uh, from Tata Harper, and also cleanser. It's great. Obviously, this cleanser will not last months, but it is there. And there is a little sample of eye cream. When I travel, I do not take a lot with me, so so many times I don't even take my eye cream with me and these products are more than sufficient. Just to balance the value of the items, I am also included with the organic product. My number one hair product, which is this K18 mask. I'm not sure if you are familiar with it, but I'm pretty sure all of you know Olaplex products for hair. Olaplex company uh, has been sold by these guys. They sold the company, created this K18 company, and they came up with this mask. I have been using this mask for two months. I love it. I can see so much change in my hair. They do have volume as well as the shine, which I love. And excuse my hair now. We've been in lockdown for now two months, so I haven't seen hairdresser for two months. They are closed and it's terrific because I really need a haircut and a proper hair color. This is ridiculous what I've done to my hair, but I really needed a color. So excuse my hair. This is not normal me. But eventually we will be back to normal and I will get a haircut. Anyhow, get back to this product. You need literally very little amount of this product in your hand. You rub it between your hands and you just pop it at the end of your hair. And that's it. You don't need to do more. You only need to use your shampoo. I use a from pharmacy organic shampoo. I don't use conditioner. I don't use any other mask and that's more than sufficient. This product highly, highly recommended. Love it, can't live without. All the conditions of the entry will be posted below this YouTube video as well as uh, below a picture on my Instagram that will look like this and it will be posted on the day I am posting this video. So please check the condition of entry. It is worldwide. And in order to enter, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my Instagram, like this video as well as like the post on my Instagram and 
please comment on this video what is your number one skincare product that you can't live without i would really love to know everyone can enter once and for bonus entry you can also comment on my instagram post and i leave it up to you what you want to write so very simple the giveaway will be open till midnight 29th of september but Australian time. The winner will be announced the 30th of September on my Instagram stories. And as I said, it will be a random number selection. Good luck to all of you. I hope whoever wins will like this product. And yeah, I am looking forward to the winner and sending the items to you. Now we get to the luxury items that in my opinion are not worth purchasing. We start with designer fashion jewelry. Because it's definitely not worth it. I don't know who still purchases the designer fashion jewelry. First of all, the prices are ridiculous. Secondly, the quality is not there. I had a Chanel a fashion jewelry a ring or earrings, whatever it was with the stones. The stones fall off all the time and you can read it on every single review. All people have issues with that. I took it to repair maybe four times, then I gave up. For that price, you can buy real jewelry and i mean real gold or real silver and third the most important point you know that fashion jewelry is made out of metal the fashion jewelry contain chromium lead mercury uh, lead you name it they are all toxic items that goes into your bloodstream especially if you wear jewelry like 24 hours some people go and sleep with their fashion jewelry it's not good for you think about it before you purchase it because there are such a beautiful gold real jewelry on a market that um, it's definitely worthwhile purchasing the first point leads us to a second one which is designer fine jewelry items I don't think that they are worth the hefty price tag. I mean, you are really paying for the brand. Look, everyone's got its own taste, obviously. So you do you. However, for that price, I prefer unique pieces, unique jewelry pieces. I'm lucky to have a partner who likes jewelry. So he usually designs stuff and his jeweler does items for me, which is nice. And I like that the items are so unique that nobody else is having. And I can tell you the items are not that expensive. I mean, to compare to the designer fine jewelry pieces. And they are all gold, the real gold. And also they're unique. So wherever you go, no one else is gonna to have those pieces, which I find really beautiful. I mean, if I see something special, something unusual, I am always intrigued where it is from, who made it, who does it. Number three, and I'm happy I never fall for this trend, is designer iPhone cases, iPhone holders, AirPod holders, you name it, all tech. The tech evolves so fast that you don't even get chance to carry these designer items and they are out of style straight away because different size of iphone is on the market and they change it every year you know so you buy new designer iphone holders and cases and airports and you name it so i am really happy i haven't fallen for that trend i think it's such a waste of money really waste of money. It's not even uh, something that would uh, finish and complete your look, you know, like when you wear the AirPod case on your neck. I mean, you have AirPods either in your ears because you use them or in your handbag when you want to use it, you take them out, you use them and you are done. You put them back in the bag, right? So for me, waste of money. Number four, designer skincare and designer makeup and you can see it a lot of designers now come up with makeups and you know i review a few items from hermes i told you i don't think it's worth the money and i told you even the reason behind and i would really concentrate and purchase the items from the brands that are concentrating on skincare on makeup only because if you look at it the items contain mostly the same ingredients so effectively for me they are the same but there is such a slight difference so in my opinion they are 
products on the market that are really comparable to any designer uh, skincare products, any designer makeup products, designer skincare, designer makeup. You literally pay for the packaging, for the brand. Is it worth it? Definitely not. With the skincare, you know that if you have any issues with the skin, it won't help if you buy $1,000 skincare, makeup, cream, whatever. It won't help. Everything comes within, so you need to look what you are eating. You need to look at your stress level because stress is the biggest killer, not just a heart attack, but for your skin product, that's maybe 10% of everything else. Designers, hair accessories. Never got this trend and uh, don't look at me now. All my life I had long hair. I just cut them maybe a couple years ago. So I used to have long hair. I never fall for the trend. I always found it a bit tacky and I'm sorry for those who love that. I don't know, especially with the big logos like Gucci and Chanel everywhere. Unless you are influencer, you do go to Chanel, Gucci or Louis Vuitton events. Yeah, heavy on the hair. I still find it tacky. I'm sorry, I do. I don't think there is nothing fashionable about it. There is nothing sexy about it, but that's just my personal opinion. And I think especially it's a waste of money. Designers, SLG, including wallets, card holders, you name it. I see it all over, over again and again. People are buying so many SLGs, even when you want to get into the brand and you buy SLGs, which is fine, buy one. How many do you need for your life? I mean, you don't. Just put the money aside. Think that you purchase it, but put the money aside. You can buy a handbag, you can buy other stuff. You know, instead of two, three SLGs, you already collect the money and you can buy some entry-level handbag. It's not worth it, definitely not. I may have two, three card holders that I don't own any wallets whatsoever. I don't know what to use it for really because my cards are all on my iPhone and I carry with my cash. Tuck it in a card holder and that's it. Sometimes I just slide it in my bag. So what do you need a wallet for? I don't know. Waste of money, really waste of money. And if you get bored of your SLGs that you use, which sometimes I do, I just let it go and I purchase a new one but I don't keep purchasing, purchasing, purchasing because it doesn't make sense and it's a waste of money unless you are a collector. If you are a collector, that's a different story. But to have so many SLGs, guys, um, only because it's a cheaper sort of entry to enter the market, waste of money. Think about it twice. Uh, this is a funny one. I don't understand this trend. Designer micro bags. I don't understand the whole trend of micro bags and I don't understand how it's still on the market. I don't, I don't get it. I will never get it. Uh, a bag that you can, well, you can at least put a key in beauty. I hope so. Some people say it completes your look. I don't see how it completes your look. It's a micro bag. You can't even properly see it when I see a woman who is tall and is dressed in beautiful colors and this micro thing on her. Not good look, do not like it. Unless you are a tiny little person, uh, cute, small, short, uh, skinny, you know. Okay, I may see the handbag, but I don't even know why they have a name bags behind. It's no bag whatsoever. You can't even put anything in. So no, don't get it, waste of money. When we stay with the bag situation, I would also touch a point of the bag charms. I purchased one in my whole like luxury item purchasing life and I still have it because I think it goes nicely with the bag. Otherwise, I don't get it. The uh, Hermes Rodeos, don't get it. So expensive. Why? The bag on its own is beautiful. It's beautiful. Why would you want to put the bag charm on it and why a horse on it 
unless you are a whole super lover i don't get it really don't get it and will never get it twillies at least they have a purpose i use twillies because you know i do put cream on my hands and i don't want to damage the leather at least they have a purpose what purpose have the back charm to look nice hmm. no i prefer to look at the back not that the back charm so it's distracting me from the whole back look designer luggages okay unless you are somebody who travels every week yeah i understand but again it's so expensive and then you damage it because luggages do get damaged and badly so hmm, now if i would travel maybe even okay once a month to a hotel in the car all the time or private jet maybe i would think about it but if i travel commercial airplanes doesn't matter business class doesn't matter what class you travel it's still commercial plane no uh, waste of money and i love to travel lucky anyhow depends which country you are traveling to as well definitely not worth the hefty price tag next one is designer these super high heel shoes which i don't get you can't even walk in them properly so hmm. anything over four inches is just no no i don't think any heels over four inches are looking good and sexy even so i'm the one who believes that high heels make to look the female legs beautiful sexy and great However, over four inches, it's just no way. The next one is so current. I mean, any designer face mask. Oh, why? Why did they come up with the idea even? Oh, why would you wear just this logo on your face? Unless you are an employee of that particular company and you are just currently working, different story. You come to the shop, okay, you are representing a company, but any other human being, there are so many fakes now. I can't even look at it anymore. It looks so tacky. So I hope you will not get offended. This is all my personal opinion. And I think it's much better to save the money instead of purchasing these items. And you can put it towards a proper designer purchase, like any clothing item or handbag or shoes or whatever you want and you desire. I think they would be much better money spent. Again, my personal opinion, guys, you do you, I do me, but I would be interested to know what do you think of those items and if you like some of them. We are all different and that's why we are humans, so I'm pretty sure you like some of the items that I think that they are not worth just a hefty price tag. That's it. So guys, that was it from today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If yes, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love you to join my YouTube family. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to catch up with you in my next video. Have a lovely day and take care. Ciao.